Good day, YouTube. It is the 19th of January, 2023. This is my 2002 uh, Scott's uh, 20 horse, 48 inch deck, ride mower. Got it a few days ago. We're going to fix it up and uh, resell it. Um, this morning we did a video where we restored the grill and headlights, put LED bulbs in it, etc., etc. Got her back together. Um, looks pretty good. Now the old hood. Is, uh, she's looking poorly. She spent a lot of its time outside. Um, this is a, you know, we're watching our budget on the rebuild because the whole idea is to be able to sell it at a good price when we're done with it. And still make a buck on it. Um, but we got to repaint that hood. So, a lot of options in the world of paint. Most of them are pretty expensive, especially if you want to match that color exactly. But over there on the bench is a couple cans of Rust-Oleum. Even that was $14 for two cans. Uh, pretty cheap, I am. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So we're going to do a video on repainting the hood on this Scott's. Riding mower. I guess uh, they were built by John Deere for a year. And I've... I don't know. It's probably a pretty good machine. So uh, let's get started with the prep, shall we? First thing you want to do is get some sort of prep saw. Uh, I've used lacquer thinner, maybe even like isopropyl alcohol. I don't know about all of that, but anyway, we got to wipe this thing down. We have no idea what's on it. What kind of oils are on it. It's going to keep the paint from adhering. This thing's also got a pretty poor finish on it. So it's going to be porous, and whatever is on it might be deep. So, But the last thing you want to do is sand the dirt and grease into this, whatever you call that, finish. So, let's get her wiped down with this prep saw. Yeah. And get whatever's on it off of it. Shall we? Flip is the rag. We'll come back with a clean, dry towel. And get all that off of there. I think for sanding this thing, I mean, we're not going for a show finish or anything. We're just trying to put the right, a little bit of color back on. So I think a scotch bright pad will be sufficient. I think uh, before we do that, we will mask off the decals. Now if you're doing a, a real nice tractor or something, maybe you got a vintage John Deere like I have, um, and you want to buy decals and stuff for it, you know, now it's time to pull them off. And you know, get the glue and stuff off of them. But you know, we're not buying decals. I doubt you can buy decals. So we are reusing them. So we need to protect them before we start sanding on it. So let's do that. Let's get that thing off. Put it on a stand if it will. 
and proceed to sand her down. There. Moving you over. And nobody wants to watch a video of somebody sanding, but um, we're just going to use a green Scotch-Brite pad. I cut it up into three or four pieces. We can chuck them when we want to. We're going to kind of flatten the surface a little bit where she's a little rough. We're going to rough it up a little bit where she's a little smooth so the paint will stick. And go from there. Then we'll wipe it back down again and uh, so forth. But uh, before we get too crazy, let's get those decals masked off. All right, I found some Rust Oleum primer. I got this thing sanded down a little bit. Quite honestly, I didn't put my heart and soul in it. So we're going to throw a little primer on that to give it some coverage over that rough surface. Hopefully, this can works. Yeah. Oh yeah. I always come down here to do my edges first. The first day in weeks is not raining. So we can do a little painting. It's also a little cold out. I'm sure it's in the 40s. Uh, this whole paint ain't gonna dry real fast today. About half an uh, overlap, right? Your spray pattern, about half an overlap. Double check this side, it looks good. Yep, looks pretty good. We'll let that uh, set up for a little bit. We'll throw some color on it. Alright, it should probably sit longer, but it isn't gonna. Alright, let's spray it out on the paper. I hope that's close. <laughs> hope it's close. Okay. Nice and thin, okay? cold, no runs.
We'll do one side now, we'll come back and do the other side. Reminding myself how cold it is out here. Right. I'll get this first coat done. Bring you back for the second. All right, I'll give you a different perspective. Okay, it's just barely a uh, tacky at the moment. We're going back to this side. spots in it all right is what it is wait for coat three all right definitely not enough time but it's getting dark it's getting cold we gotta go so now we're gonna paint it in the opposite direction nice heavy coat
are the most out of paint. This can. We got two cans. Whoops. Almost crashed you. Switching cans. Okay. There was enough to do this little area there. I did it with the old can. What this thing really needed was some primer sealer. I didn't have any, um, and we really got to watch costs, so certainly wasn't going to buy any. I was crazy enough to spend $14 for paint, but it does have to look good to sell, and uh, looks pretty good. I'll uh, bring you in a little closer. The sun is going down, though. She's getting cold, so. Right on. Still probably looks better than it did when she left the factory. But again, it's just Rust-Oleum, right? Off the shelf. Seven bucks a can these days. Used to be four or five. Anyway. But it looks it looks great. It'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll give it a few minutes. We'll uh, keep the camera handy. And uh, we'll pull this masking tape and such off. I like to pull it before it paint gets completely dry. I mean, I don't want to do it tomorrow. I want to do it soon. Um, that way the edges and stuff come out. Decent doesn't try to pull the paint off the skin or nothing. So, anyway, there we go. The color was just called orange. Again, you can get the correct color, but you'll pay like 20 bucks a can. And then I keep... Just standard Rust-Oleum primer in these tall cans. I usually just use red oxide. It seems to do well. And used to could I used to could buy it in a box of six and save a little money. That's why I used to buy my black. But uh, I think that has changed. Anyway, just good to keep some on hand. Well, guys, there you go. What do you think? I took the tape off the big stickers. There's a couple little ones down there. The paint's still really wet. Didn't want to get my fingers all wet. But anyway, kind of took this uh, ugly duckling. May look pretty good, don't you think? All right, huh? Yeehaw, I'm liking it. A couple stickers over here I didn't peel the tape off of yet. We're going to let that thing dry a little bit. But yeah, she's looking good. Got to get it moved in because it's temperature's dropping. It ain't going to do much drying out here. Plain old Rust-Oleum. Little bit of work. About seven bucks a can, if you care. Right on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification. You can come back and watch another video. This uh, lawn tractor will get a few more videos before it's all said and done. And then we'll send it down the highway. Alright guys, we'll catch you on the next video.